up my anime and Funko peeps. It's your girl Rachel here. How's it going? I'm here to do a Funko review. I had a lovely big delivery from Ruben from his site uh, Division 6. Uh, so I've got some lovely new Funkos to review. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, Attack on Titan from the newest wave and I've got some Overwatch pops. So I'm really looking forward to having a look at them as they came in Mahusive boxes, my lovely fiance Adam bought them around for me today, so I'm going to review them for you. So I'm just gonna spin the camera around and put them on the wheel of awesomeness for you to admire. So just two sets, guys. Okay, guys, sorry, I had a little bit of a delay because my camera wouldn't work and I couldn't get it autofocus at all, so I had to go and borrow another camera. So, anyway, without further ado, with the Funker review, uh, this is the first pop that I had from Ruben, and this is from Overwatch, as I keep saying, it's one of my favourite game franchises. I'm going to have to say this is my number one franchise at the moment, and number two is going to be Fallout because I keep saying that they're both my favourite. <laughs> Uh, anyway, this is a number 180. Uh, this is from the second wave of the newest pops from the Overwatch line. And uh, yeah, I like May. She is a pretty nice character. I love her costume design. Um, I, there are two variants of her in this fun Funko form. Uh, there is this version, which is the standard, and the Hot Topic colour variant, which is like pink, green, and cream. And it has... Um, an additional little detailing on it and uh, I think it's got her little mech droid separately I think I'll have to double check but I am after it for my collection uh, anyway back to the review so this is the pop uh, so she's quite nicely detailed I love her uh, hipster specs <laughs> they do make her look really cute uh, there was only one little niggle on this pop it's just on her hair and um, they've used uh, a, put a little bit of a smudge of light brown here at the top i think they were trying to do highlighting but they kind of mucked up but eh, you can't really see it unless you're um looking at it fully so she's got really nice detail into her outfit i love the gun her um i think it's uh, i can't remember what her gun's called but i'm gonna call it a cryo cooler <laughs> it reminds me of the gun that mr freeze uses in that really bad batman film um <laughs> stay cool <laughs> um but they use clear plastic here and here to um make it look really cool and icy and i love the little details on the thing there's her little it's a little droidy dude, which always reminds me of um, those little blue characters from Mario Galaxy because they got the similar eyes and sort of curved style. Uh, I love the detailing on her hairpin, which is really nice. I see a lot of people make these out of um, Eva foam and uh, warbler, and they do look really super nice. But with my hair, they never stay in because my hair's so ridiculously thin and fine. And yet, you got the ice chamber uh, or ice capsule pod whatever you want to call it on her back and yeah it's nice uh there's a little bit of speckling on her legs but meh, again i'm not gonna complain uh her gloves could be slightly better painted but other than that oh, i don't know why my voice went so high like stewie then <laughs> it's a little bit <laughs> it's still a really really nice pop uh so uh i've got all of these now out of the collection but i am now just after unmatched Reinhardt. Unfortunately, uh, my mate Ruben was due to get it, but um, the uh, Pop Funko shop let him down and I decided to cancel them at the last minute, so I've got to go on another Funko hunt for Reinhardt. And um, I also need to get the new version of McCree, uh, which is the American Patriot version, and uh, yeah, he's uh, still currently on pre-order at the moment. So anyway, without further ado, on to the next Pop. Okay guys, this is the first 6 inch Funko for the review and this is the mech suit with D.Va and again this is from Overwatch which is again the second wave and I love this, I could not wait to get this bad boy out of the box um, and yet yeah, it does open and it does have a little Diddy D.Va in it and yeah, I just need to take it out because I haven't actually had a look at Diva. I've been looking more at the mech. So obviously where she fits in the vehicle, she is a lot smaller. She's the same size as like the keychain Funkos. Um, yeah, if they made this Funko standard size with a standard size pop, it would be ridiculously sized. So yeah, as you can see, she's um, <laughs> a little bit smaller in uh, her um her teammates size but uh, other than that she's still nice I'm, re I'm really amazed how they got the uh, diva logo properly on there obviously it's like a little decal just there on her chest my sorry this camera is even good but it still won't focus there we go uh, she's still really nice she's got her little headphones and she's pretty really cute uh, I think she's meant to um, sit 
um, sort of clip inside the mech, which is good because I'll see if it's uh, sort of sat on a shelf and someone knocks it, it's not going to fall out. But anyway, back to the actual mech itself. Oh my god, this is freaking gorgeous! It's just nice as just a display piece. It's got all of the proper logos and everything from the game. She's got the Diva logo and the Mecha Korean Army Company logo and everything on the back. Oh my god, this is just such a sweet pop! And yeah, they've even got the Blizzard uh, logo on there. Uh, weirdly enough, it's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like proper resin, like the um, uh, Reinhardt Funko. Um, but it's actually um, like a light rubber uh, on the legs as well. It's 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 movable and squishy. Uh, but yeah, I'm not surprised because if it was full resin, this thing would... Uh, uh, let me tell you, if you knocked a burglar out with it, yeah, he'd know about it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's really nice and I like to use clear resin on the window as well and it didn't mist it up So I'm just gonna have a look inside. So yeah, just inside. Uh, sorry where the mech There's two little holes. So obviously diva can sit happily inside. So I'm just gonna pop her in I'm not gonna clip her in. I'm just gonna pop her in now just so to show you. So yeah, I love the gun turrets uh, Oh my god, this is just so nice loads and loads of um, all my Facebook friends who are overwatch obsessed have been absolutely raving about this Funko Pop I'm not surprised um, I managed to get this from Ruben for a fairly good price actually. Uh, I think I got it for about uh, about 26 quid and uh, my local comic shop is only for 40 which is an absolutely ridiculous price. I know it is a nice pop uh, but yeah that is going a little bit too much so I'm just making my camera focus. So yeah I'm um, just need a mass Reinhardt now and then um and a uh, Patriot McCree. So yeah on to the next Funkos of oh, goodness. Okay guys, we're now on to the last four pops uh, of the Attack on Titan range uh, that I just got from Ruben. Uh, I just remembered I do have another one, but I just need to go and grab it in a second. Uh, the first pop we have is Annie, and uh, yep, yeah, uh, <laughs> the next pop after her might spoil it a bit, but if you've already watched the anime, then you should be caught up anyway. <laughs> it's been ages, so yeah, uh, this is Annie just in a standard pose. I kind of like this. It's better than them just having... Uh, just standard arms to the side. I like that she's kind of in a sort of stance. It gives her that sort of toughness look because she's a pretty b bit of a badass in the anime. And so they've done pretty good detailing on her buns. Um, she's got all the uh, core kit. She doesn't have the blades like the other ones do, but that's cool because if they all look the same, it'd be a bit boring. She's got the military police logo on it, so I'm glad that they haven't put the training core. Glad that they've upgraded her from um, when she was in the anime. There you go. And uh, yeah, again, really nice detailing on the belt buckles because sometimes it can get a bit sloppy when these are painted. They can be a little bit uh, out of line sometimes, but they've done it really, really well. And she's got a tiny, tiny, tiny little military police logo on her jacket just there. So yeah, this is really nice. They've done a little bit of a bleed on the hair, but man, I'm not overly fast. Uh, so yeah, this is from the uh, newest range of the Attack on Titan Funkos. A lot of people have been crying out for an Annie Pop for a while. Um, also in this series, there is the uh, female Titan, armor Titan, standard Levi. Uh, there are two Levi's, so there's cleaning Levi, which is an EMP exclusive, which luckily I just bought off a friend of mine on uh, Facebook. So yeah, thank you, buddy. <laughs> uh, there's Sasha Browse, which is a Hot Topic exclusive, and Armin. <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, I've got Armin on the way. I've got Sasha. Clean Levi on the way, I just need standard Levi now for my collection. Uh, so yeah, I do really like this Funko. So on to the next one. Okay, so next up we have yet another six inch pop and this is the female Titan. And she's in her sort of fighting stance pose, which is really, really cool. But then the Colossal Titan, which just had his arms again, just to the side, which is a bit dull. But yeah, I'm really glad they have some fighting pose. Uh, if they do a... Um, a six inch of Eren in his Titan form. That we've I know they've done the smaller versions already, but if they had one in a fighting put stance, you could put them against Annie. I think that would be really, really cool. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, if you don't know who Female Titan is, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna um put that right here. <laughs> So, yeah, um, yeah, you need to watch the anime and read the books. <laughs> so, spoilers! <laughs> 
anyway, <coughs> yeah, if you don't know by now, obviously, if you haven't watched the first anime, Annie was revealed as the female titan, and obviously it was a bit oblivious from the blonde hair and the fighting moves there that Annie was titan and betrayed, and yet yeah, is in cahoots with another band of guys who you know in the second series from now. Uh, anyway, uh, without blabbering on uh this is the really nice six inch pop they got into really good detail into doing all the detailing on the muscles and um the bone structure parts on her and i like they've done good detailing on her hands because obviously her hands are a primary feature because she hardens them a lot especially in battle for punching and climbing so uh, yeah it is super super nice and uh, they've done a lot of shading on the face as well which is good um i would have liked it if they put um, a grin on her. It, I think it might have brought out the creepiness of the Titan form a bit more. Um, but yeah, um, it's still a super duper nice pop. I see a lot of people cosplay um, female Titan. <laughs> Obviously, it is a really cool cosplay to do, and it's mega creepy <laughs> as long as it's not the Colossal Titan because I see a lot of um, <laughs> a lot of people do really weird dances dressed as the Colossal Titan. Uh, but yeah, anyway, on to the next Funko. Okay guys, so yes, again, yet another 6 inch pop, and uh, yeah, this is the Armour Titan, and don't worry, I'm not going to spoil the territory, because my mate Ruben might be watching this, and he hasn't watched the series yet, so uh, I can't really say anything, or get super angry with me for spoilers. <laughs> the only one was oblivious, because that was in the first season. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Armour Titan, who you see in episode 1, and uh, yeah, this is super creepy. See what I mean? When they put the smile on it, they should have really done that with Annie, um, up with um, the female Titan, it would have made it stand out a bit more but yeah obviously he's got blonde hair he's got super big muscles he looks like he's probably ready to for a punch out <laughs> or a, a rugby tackle i should say and again really good detailing on the muscles and the bone structure and yeah he's got um <laughs> got a little bit of mist paint on his hair but again i'm not going to complain i do love the sorry excuse me sorry not the camera i do love the six inch pops so uh i hope they're still going to carry on uh when the uh next part of the series comes out and i hope they're going to release some characters i hope that they do um the new titan that was revealed in the second one i think that would make a good section of pop uh i hope they do commander Irwin. uh i hope they do um uh, who else would i love as a pop i would definitely love uh sasha as a pop uh because uh, sorry zoe hanji sorry zoe hanji because uh Zoe's literally my favourite character, so if they definitely made one of her and John, uh, I think that would probably be a good lineup for the next series. So anyway, without further ado, on to the next pop. Okay, so this is the last of the six inch pops, and I was really, really pleased when Ruben told me he got these in. Uh, this is from the first wave of the Attack on Titan pops, and this is the Colossal Titan, and this is the black and white version. So this is from Underground Toys, and yeah, they basically made uh, two versions of this. They did the standard Titan in normal colour, and they did a underground version in black and white, which is supposed to be the manga version so basically because the manga was in black and white obviously they did a black and white variant of the titan i didn't quite get it um and i wasn't too overly over the moon to get them when they first came out because i didn't really see the point of having two color variants um but room said he got them in and uh these are actually vaulted now we're pretty much the first series of all the attack on titan pops are now so i thought i'd better add him to the collection and he might be a, a valuable piece to my collection not that i would sell them because i love all my pop funkos so much uh <laughs> i wouldn't want to sell them but yeah i still want to add him to my lovely collection and titan family so yeah in the first wave they didn't have a lot they only had the four which was the colossal uh erin in his standard form uh mikasa and erin uh, i think these were just sort of a test run so they did pretty much the major characters uh erin in his titan form does have two uh there's his standard form which is just the paler version and there is a darker version which has red lines on which is supposed to be his uh rage form um which has um white eyes instead of black and yeah it's slightly darker and it has blacker hair and basically that was from uh Aaron's first transformation after he pretty much ripped himself out of a titan after being eaten in his human form so <laughs> 
yeah, it was pretty interesting. I did pick it up randomly in uh, HMV, and it was a standard price pop. And then I found out it was a um, an exclusive, so I was quite happy. So uh, anyway, this is the yep, the Colossal. So I'm just going to spin it around on the Wheel of Awesomeness. So there's all the um, Bat King detail. So again, really nice. Uh, they could have done the elbows just a little bit better, but again, it's uh, still a really pretty cool pop. Uh, so yeah, um, my. Uh, Fiance Adam and Ruben, they kind of did um, uh, a little bit of a giveaway, uh, well, it's a promotional sort of thing. And uh, yeah, they had another one of these um, via Ruben, and they sent it to a YouTuber uh, called Funkal, and uh, he does uh, really, really cool reviews on YouTube, and he does giveaways as well. And uh, yeah, me and Adam watched the uh, video together on Tuesday, and he was just so stoked to open this pop. <laughs> it was really, really nice. Um, so yeah, um, if you're watching Funkal, hey! <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, watch Funkal, and uh, yeah. He's a really good YouTuber, so um, hi fun Carl, glad you liked the pop. <laughs> no, it is from me, uh, Frank Rubin and uh, Adam for that. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, on to the last Funko, and then we'll call it a wrap. Okay, you guys, so this is the last pop. I nearly forgot to actually review this because I had it on the side and I got this um, a couple of days ago um, via Ruben's site, again, DVI6. And uh, this is uh, number 231 and this is Princess Caroline from uh, Bojack Horseman. Um, if you haven't heard of Bojack Horseman, where have you been? It is a really, really good Netflix show and I highly recommend watching it. It's had two seasons now and i think it is lined up for another one and uh yeah this is princess carolyn who is a um anthropomorphic cat <laughs> and uh basically um she is bojack horseman's uh agent as bojack's a um sort of um ex tv um actor he was in his own sitcom and then it kind of flopped and and he's been sort of a bit of a stalemate of finding work and it's princess caroline's job to find him sort of roles and things and yeah it's a, a pretty good insight into sort of various sort of adult sort of things it's not a kids show it's definitely an adult thing it sort of gets into alcoholism and drug use and depression and sort of self-searching and it, it does go very very deep in some episodes and it took a while to get rolling the first season was a bit slow and second season was definitely the best one uh so uh yeah it might sound a bit down in the dumps but uh, there is episodes that can uplift you. There's one where Bojack goes to a movie premiere underwater, uh, sorry, under sea, and um, he gets lost and goes on the wrong bus and finds this little horse, uh, seahorse kid, and tries to return to his dad. And it was a really, really touching scene. Uh, so, so anyway, I'm just waffling. Uh, so in this um, set, there is Bojack Horseman, obviously the main character of the show. Uh, there's Diane, who's um, Prince. Uh, engaged to uh, Mr Peanut Butter who is a dog who um, does advertising and um, various other TV shows uh, and there's Todd um, who is basically um, roommates with Bojack so um, I do really want to collect the rest of these because it is a really popular show and uh, seeing as now I'm um, Adam's collecting the Rick and Morty series. I'm going to collect these as uh, my new Netflix set. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you the pop in general because uh, she's got some quite nice detailing on her. Uh, she's got little fishies on her dress. Sorry, I'm to wait for my camera to focus. And she's got really cute pink shoes. And she's holding her little uh, mobile phone, which she always has pretty much attached to her to make sure that she gets those very vital jobs. Uh, she's got a slight little chip there on her face there you go you can see her dress a lot better now um and then that she is just super adorable and she's a really cute kitty and i love her little pink little quiff <laughs> i think it's adorable and uh yeah princess caroline's a really strong female character so yeah definitely give bojack horseman a watch Okay guys, so that was uh, this month's pop review, so hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will be reviewing a couple more pops shortly when Ruben gets his next order in. So fingers crossed I get some good more goodies. And um, I will be doing my um, Loot Crate Gaming and my Yumi Twins Crate review shortly next week. So stay tuned for that. So I hope you enjoyed the video review as always guys. And as always, stay nerdy, stay happy and keep collecting. So... Sayonara!